My name is Angie Johnson and I'm married to Doug Johnson and I've been a coach's wife for 22 years. So our oldest is JC Abriel and our second is Jenna, she's 17. Our third child is Jaren Kayla and then our fourth is Jordan Kren, her nickname is Jojo and our youngest is Justine Carissa. Before I even met Doug, I prayed and just asked God that I could marry somebody that would um, be able just to partner with me, that we can influence other people and make a difference. And that's when I found Doug Johnson and I feel like, you know, when we wake up, we know what our purpose is and it's to invest in high school kids and in our own children. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't do it without her, and uh, you know, I uh, I really want my team to look good when she comes to the games. I I want to impress her. Um, she takes it as hard as I do when we when we don't play well, and or when we're not doing well, or when people are upset with me. Um, she prays over me. I, you know, there's there's been times I've thought she's probably the more important part of this puzzle because she prays and she's she's got a gift of prayer and uh, I've got the gift of I'll try it and she's got the gift that kind of activates my faith to go try new things and take chances. I did not grow up in a family that did a lot of sports so all of it was brand new. There were a lot of games and his family, his mom and dad went to all of his games like he was still in high school and so I had to ride in the back seat with them to all of these games even when they were away and out of town we went to them. I, I met with a guy about are you a Christian coach or a coach who is a Christian and it was pretty tough day for me to hear him talk about that and I, I realized I was a coach who was a Christian and um, I, I kind of just took a step back. And what I try to do now is ask God about everything that we do. Um, and if I don't know what to do, I don't do anything. I, I, I don't make, I'll just say, I'm gonna stop right here and until I have peace in my heart from God, I'm not making a decision on this. And then I think he's just allowed God to teach him and train him in it. And um, he's passionate about it. He gets excited for it. Um, he loves his job, which a lot of people don't like their job, but my husband loves his job and I think it makes him good at it. I liken it to being an artist and I have absolutely no skills as an artist, but when the kids do it just right, it's beautiful. Uh, we plan date nights. We, we, we used to shoot for Saturday and we were pretty good about Saturday, being pretty consistent about going out on a date um, and telling our kids they're, they're, they're behind us. God's the center of our home and I've always told them, you're below your mom. 